Hi everyone, Mr. Mott here. I'm creating a series of videos that shows how to create a lesson, primarily using Cami on the side. So Cami will be on one side, which what you can see right now, for like the interactive part, like the chart paper part. And then on the other side is going to be the actual book that the students are going to use. Now each video is kind of separate because you can use one or all these videos in many different ways. So this video is going to focus on how to take screenshots to then put into the lesson. And I'm going to be using a document camera to do this because it's really easy to do it this way if you have it. If you don't have a document camera, you can do this with a any smartphone or any type of tablet or any you your scanner on your computer, your webcam, but that doesn't work that great because then you have to hold it up and everything. The only thing is if you do it on those platforms is that you have to figure out how to get it from the device into the document, which, you know, for the, these, it might be that you have to open it and import it or with the computer, the scanner for sure, you're going to have to like open the program, tell it where to save it, then go find it, then import it. So this, the document camera works great because it'll take a picture, put it on my desktop, and then I just drag it into the document. So it's pretty easy to use. So what's going to happen next is uh, I'm going to show you how to actually do the screenshots using shortcuts. So I am on a PC, so that is a little bit different than other devices. All I have to do is hit Command Shift 4 on my keyboard, and I can take a screenshot right away. It'll dump it onto my desktop for me to drag over to Cami or whatever platform you're using. If you're using a PC, then you're going to have to open the snipping tool, go into the search bar, type in snipping tool, open it up click on new, and then I would select the rectangle option, but you can do the free draw option, like if you're doing clip art, or uh, the whole window, if you like. The rectangle works best for most applications. And then it'll ask you where to save it. I recommend you save it on your desktop so that then you can find it more easily, unless you just create a folder that you always save all your screenshots in. Uh, and then if you're using a Chromebook, on a Chromebook, you're going to use uh, control, shift, and then the multi-window screen button. Again, you hold all three at once, and it will dump the picture into your files, and then you'll have to go to files to find it later to bring into whatever you're using. In my case, I'm going to be using Cami. Okay, so now let me do that. I'm going to take a screenshot. Um, so just for context, the lesson is going to be the text features of a nonfiction book. So I've picked out a whole bunch of nonfiction books that have the text features I'm focusing on, like table of contents, title, pictures, bold words, glossary, things like that. So this one is for the cover of the book. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to position it so I can see it on the computer screen. And I'm on my back. So I'm going to go Command Shift 4 but I have to do all one shot. And then my mouse turns into a target. I'm going to drag it to fill up the whole book cover that I want. And I'm gonna let go. A little picture pops up in the corner, let me see the picture. If I wanna open it and check it, I can. Usually it's fine. And that right now is dumped onto my desktop for me to find later. Then I'm just gonna do this again. Uh, let's see here, I want a table of contents. So I'm going to take this one and do Command Shift 4. My document camera does allow me to take pictures also, but then you have to go figure out where is it saving it, and you have to open use that program. Uh, I like using the snipping tool because I can reuse the pictures over and over. They're saved to my computer. Um, it's a little more challenging with the document camera. All right, so another thing uh, I wanted to use is actually already on my computer. So this is where the snipping tool is really helpful. 
I can't do this with the document camera. It's already on my computer. So I'm what I have to do is click on the file, which I already have opened. And it's this one, because I want this one up at the top of my chart. Oop, command shift four. There's my target. Drag and let go. And then there's my little preview here. So now that I've taken a couple of pictures, in another in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make this interactive chart and making things appear and being able to also like make it a little more interactive, just like you were doing a regular lesson with chart paper in, in the front of your room. Kind of not practical right now. I don't have a way to hold it up. Also, the great thing about doing this, especially like with Cami or any platform you use, you can reuse it. You could print this out to give to kids when we do go back to school. You could reuse it next year. So there's this is why I'm doing this on my computer and not trying to figure out how to do this with chart paper behind me. Okay. So the next video, it's creating digital chart with a focus on Cami, but I'll reference other things. Now, if you need other help, I recommend check out uh, the YouTube playlist that I have or the YouTube videos I already have posted. And I've been adding more and more as time goes on, as teachers ask me for more help. You can also check out uh, Mr. Mott's tech blog, and that's a blog format of the same thing. On there, I actually have like documents like Google Docs with directions you can print out for you to use or print out and send to, to students, just like how to access Cami on, a, on an iPad. Um, you can also follow me now on Twitter at TechMott. I will post, when I post videos or when I find things that might be helpful, I'll post those ideas on there as well. So thanks for watching and I hope you find this video really helpful.